Hey everyone, I'm Heather Moxie and welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be very old footage of how I updated our basic office doors with a quick DIY. Now a while ago I had shared that my husband and I bought our first house together and we've been completing small DIY projects here and there, but the footage you're about to see is probably about two years old, so we've been sitting with this DIY for quite some time and it's held up very well. When we moved in, I immediately knew I wanted to do something with these doors. Our office area sits at the end of our hallway, and while I love the glass doors, any mess that you have in that area is automatically visible. My main goals for this project were to replace the hardware, possibly sand, most likely paint the doors, and look into adding privacy film or a privacy spray to the glass insert. Once all the hardware was removed, I was able to get the doors off the hinges and start in on the painting process. For the paint color, I knew I wanted to add some contrast to the hallway, but I also had to use what was on hand because I wanted the cost of this project to be as low as possible. I ended up going with a chalk finish paint that we had lying around from previous projects, and I did about two to three coats. You can also see here that I did not pay attention to the hardware. I knew that we would be replacing the hardware in the future, and fast forward a couple years, we have replaced all of our door hinges, so at the time, I simply taped them up and painted what would be exposed. Now, I know you're typically supposed to prime a surface before you paint it, but I've had a lot of luck in the past with using chalk finish paints, and then I simply add a polyacrylic top coat or a really good sealer once I'm done. Once everything had finally set, I was able to go in with a privacy film that I bought off of Amazon. This was a simple peel and stick using water. You're gonna see me struggle a little bit here. This is the first time I've used any form of window cling, and while I would say that this is supposed to be a very simple step, I struggled with it a lot because the surface I was working with was really large. Add on to that the fact that I have three dogs and one of them is a German Shepherd, I was constantly battling with stray hairs. This part took a lot of patience, spraying, peeling, and reapplying. In the end, I ultimately decided to scrap the window cling and opt for the spray version of this. If I were to do this project again, I would probably stick it out with the window cling and try to apply it while the door was horizontal and off the hinges. I originally chose this method because I wanted to be able to peel the window cling off if I ever decided I wanted to undo this project. Unfortunately now, I'm not able to do that, but I'm still left with the same results. For the hardware, we went with a simple and fairly inexpensive option that we found on Amazon. I will link everything that we used in this video down in the description box below, so be sure to check that out. These were fairly easy to install, even though I know I was installing it backwards here. I did laugh at myself once I finished putting this all together. I had to undo it and redo it, but hey, that's what DIY is all about. Once everything was installed correctly, we had a brand new to us set of office doors. If you're new to my channel and you enjoyed this video, I would love for you to consider subscribing and liking this video. I definitely don't post regularly. However, I love making DIY videos and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.